Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 38. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building for episode 38. Introduce yourself to the audience before we hit the rundown. Hey, yes, yeah, Kendra Crumb, aka the H and I C, aka Rapper to Games, baby mom slash wife from Atlanta. There it is. All right. Kendra pulled the hype on hype. She slid my DMs and said, yo, what's up when we recording? Okay. I don't mean, I don't know, but all right, we can record. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all, I was on the Section 8 waiting list, man. I finally got approved. So there I it mean, is. Hey, you know, it'll be like that sometime. Like I said, I slide niggas DMs all the time. I just try to let the chicks all know I'm happily married. I'm not shooting at you. It's a strictly business. <laughs> That's right. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, uh, go through the rundown. Custom Hustle Jerseys. Custom Hustle Jerseys on Instagram is my clothing line. Any order from Custom Hustle Jerseys comes with a free wristband. So you make your order, you get a free wristband. Wristbands are also available to be purchased on their own, $2 a shot. And H2H Cleaning. H2H Cleaning is a local situation pretty much only. Hit me up for your cleaning jobs, big and small. We are here to help. Uh, But, yeah, the Custom Hustle Jersey, if you're in or out of town, in or out of the country, it costs you a little extra for the shipping and handling, but I can get it to you. Um, do you now, do uh, like cleaning out of state as well? I said tri state area, I can hit the cleaning. You make it worth my while, though. We can get on the plane, um, okay? Because I'm in Dubai now, so can you come out here? No doubt, 600,000, and we can make it happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, hold up now. Tuesdays, the GFT radio network every Tuesday, two o'clock on the GFT radio network. Wednesdays is the kickback app. And that is 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Thursdays is WTNUPhilly.com at 1230. Fridays, the I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. And the THC Radio Network, 10 a.m. on Saturdays. You got cities, you got stations. Y'all hit me the fuck up. We need, we need stations every day, multiple stations in the day. All right. We're going to go here. We're going to rapid fire, y'all. Y'all know how the format usually goes. This is the podcast drive through. We one topic, get you in and out. But because we have a special guest, we're going to switch things up completely for her and let her bomb on all these different situations. Are you ready? <laughs> that sounds like it's about to be an F. All right, let's do it. Pfizer or Moderna? Moderna. Why Moderna? Uh, because I really don't know what either or is, and Moderna sounds like it's a better choice for you, so let's just go with that. Copy that. I don't, know, I don't get it either. Instagram or Twitter? Definitely IG. Okay, why well, is definitely IG? Um, because on IG, I feel a lot more. No, no, no. Let me go switch that to Twitter. Twitter, I could you can say whatever you want to say, and you have like the the nudity is is amazing. It's like Amsterdam, okay? I unless you're this big, earlier. unless you're this this big figure that where they try to ban you and everything else like that. I saw some random titties earlier. Um, <laughs> what's the Twitter though? Throw out your Twitter handle for the listeners. Uh, basically, I, I will follow at your own risk because I ain't posted in about six months. But it's uh the Kendra Crump show, <laughs> I think, or Idolized Dynasty, one of those. <laughs> okay, best piece of advice you ever got. How many can I give you? Can I give you uh, three or five or one? Two is cool. Okay, two. <laughs> like that's not even an answer i love it um when you first meet a person start them off with an f and have them work their way to an a and the one that i really go by is uh behind every note there is a yes copy that okay <laughs> all right uh this is one you keep throwing out there i told you i'd like to come prepared i do my homework i listen to a couple of your interviews cracker coke Cocaine, let me tell you something, man. This is a true story, and I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. I feel like I've done it before, but I can't really tell. But I do want to actually real deal. And, guys, this is coming from someone who's very – I'm sober, you know, I, you know, whatever. I, I want to go to – You just told us you did coke. How, you just told us you might have done coke. So how are we I sober? think I have. Come on like, the one that's not – this is this is artificial coke that they got now in the streets. So are we talking oh, about the ones – You don't I mean, mean the good pure from back in the day? Copy yeah, not, not art. This is um, – yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, well, anyway, the one that came from the 1970s before the government put their hands on it, I'm going to Colombia or Cuba. I'm going to Colombia one day, okay? And I'm going to try the real, the cocoa leaf and all that. One day, and I'm going to try it, and I'm going to be done. That's how I am. Like, when it comes with drugs, I just try it one time, I'm done. So you're trying <laughs> to get your Frank Lucas on. I got you. You want to get on the plane with the Americans. 
Okay. Um, this one, the worst of these, these are two bad situations, but pick one out of them. Long nails or long wig? Long wig. Long wig. I'll take the wig over the nails because you can't wipe properly. <laughs> I always wondered that. Like, you have to. I mean, can I, you know, I had this girl like try to give me change from her purse and she could not grab the dime. She's like, can you help me? And I'm like, hell's wrong with you, man? Take the nails <laughs> off. The chick had a spoon in her hand trying to eat cereal on TV. She looked like she had a fucking chopstick. <laughs> Brand- Brandy or Monica? I like Monica because she's gangsta. She be punching folks uh, in the face and don't care. She punched, you know, she punched Brandy in the face back uh, in 1999. <laughs> Chill, don't be hitting Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> Mo got old though. God damn. Um, she's, she's still timeless. She's still youthful. I'm like, how you still look like you 16? You drink like you you putting bathing with some blood. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what what's the secret, sis? Niggas got that good good uh facial cream and shit. I guess they do. That's when you paying six hundred thousand dollars to get niggas to fly out to Dubai to do a cleaning job. You know what I'm saying? You can afford, <laughs> the, you can afford the extra good skincare shit. <laughs> um, True. Being you would rather be a kid or an adult. Definitely a kid. I want to actually, if I could literally be an age forever, it'll be five. Because that was the age where I can, like, you know, ask dumb questions and nobody care, man. It's beautiful. I remember a boy going to say, uh, I didn't know life was perfect when I was six months old. I got to suck tits, sit around, and watch cartoons and shit on myself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ghost or Tommy? Oh, I'll, I guess I'll say ghost. You know, because he really did try to change. He changed his life around, like, Somewhere, you know, towards the end or before he got there, he changed his life around. Tommy still didn't care. <laughs> Hold up, pause right here, y'all. Ghost has creep niggas tendencies, though. He does. Well, did he? He was doing nut shit to everybody to get himself over. Like he was never like for the cause. He was all for ghosts. Well, I have to watch the show again and see it from your perspective. That's probably what it is. Like I was like, oh, this is great. He's like leaving the game, and I'm very proud of him. Tommy killed that girl's dad, and just was like, still like, like, what, are you still talking to her? Like, come on now, like, just admit I killed your dad, and then just drive off. And so I don't, well, don't admit that, but I'm just. He deserved it. <laughs> okay, no. I it. she's she's a daddyless girl now. Um. Well, yeah, like shit. I, um, yeah, Ghost. I thought he was cool in the beginning, but yeah, he turned out to be a sucker at the end. I mean, I wasn't really mad at him for hitting his high school sweetheart, though. You know, he was caught up in the feeling of the eighties. Mm-hmm. Anyway, radio or podcast? Podcast, rather, podcast, ra- because you can say more of what you want to say. Radio, you're restricted to only saying certain things. You know, they'll okay. cancel you for that. Switch it up then. So, uh, satellite radio versus podcast, because you can say whatever you want on satellite. No, 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 oh, you can, you can. Um, about but, to say, girl, Howard Stern is on satellite. You can say whatever the hell you want. On no, no, you you can say whatever you want on Howard Stern. Um, I guess I don't know. I feel like you still because you have a contract still. You still got a contract. So if you say the wrong thing, like if you tell the like you don't like your boss, <laughs> you can't say that. You know, you're gonna get fired. But on podcast, you can say whatever you want. See, this goes back to something that you said off mic that we was talking about beforehand that the audience wouldn't have got. When you're your own boss, you don't have these problems. <laughs> Isn't that why podcasting is definitely the way to go? Hey, why do you think we're here with the How to Hustle podcast? And that's so why I said big. podcasting over radio, <laughs> podcasting over HBL TV, it doesn't matter. Like you, you still have to report to somebody at the end of the day. You still have to shout out sponsors. Now you're your own sponsor. You know, you're shouting yourself out. And I was going to ask you, did you like read from a script or did you just know that off the top of your head? How'd you do oh, that no. so well? Mm, oh, no, baby girl. I'm four years into gangster them. I know what I'm doing. I got Oh, okay. I'm years. like, I'm like, he's not even, I'm like, he's just looking straight at me and say, Hi, is there a talent prompter back there? Uh-uh. <laughs> All that shit is. None of this shit is choreographed. None of this shit is scripted. This shit is just good, that's man. why I'd be like, ah, damn, wait, which radio station is it? It's five different radio stations in five days. They all in different cities. Like, I'm all over the place with all you're, that shit, but I got good. it all on the yo-yo. Um, with it. But no, definitely podcast, because I'm telling you, you can't you can't get fired from, from podcasting, no matter can't what fire, You ain't gonna fire yourself. No, you're <laughs> um, not. My bad. Something else I keep forgetting. I always forget this. Uh, let them know where, which city you out of. International Hype is one of the hashtags. Atlanta, born and raised. Atlanta. Okay. Now, uh, also, the GFT Radio Network. Every Monday night on the GFT Radio Network, we're live at 10 p.m. on the Twitch channel, the YouTube channel. The shit's all over Facebook, all over all streaming platforms. You can find me there every Monday night. Now, let's get back to these questions that we got for you. What's the nastiest shit in your DMs? Men sending their unwanted penis. 
So like niggas just cold call you with a like hammer shot or yeah, and I, I feel like the, they no <laughs> like we'll have a conversation and I think the conversation is going cool, but then they'll just send that and to me. I just like you don't have respect for yourself or women, do you, sir? How do you not know I'm not a child? Oh, because you don't because you don't talk like you a child. You sound older. Oh, I've sounded like this since I was 10. OK, stop it. <laughs> oh, hey, now you swallow some peanut butter when you was nine or something. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it was. I was a I was a third girl or probably the first girl when I was eight years old who had underarm hair. Then I like I never even went to the training bra. I just started wearing bras like in a little when I was oh, 11. I, I had a fat old like a, I got a wagon. I still got it. Right. But, you know, it's not like uh, I, when you come across other women whose wagons are bigger, you're like, man, I was supposed to have the biggest one. But anyway. Anyway. So I was like 11. And, like my lower half grew like a lot faster than my upper half. Right. That's why I be dressed like a Muslim, because like y'all men just like i don't know y'all y'all get carried away but i'm like how y'all have still have x-ray vision when i'm dressed like a muslim you know so i don't understand that <laughs> as a muslim myself it's very easy to decipher those situations if you're used to well, it. Salam alaykum. <laughs> well i like my salam rock until lahi rabbi katu sister uh, 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 i don't know all that okay I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm you know what type of person so i grew up born and raised uh an evangelistic household right and someone just like well not just like three years ago had gifted me the Quran along with the Arabic CD. I'm on page 40, so it's a slow read. But I am liking it. I'm underlining stuff. Copy that. One page at a time, sister. One page at a time. Um. Now, here we go. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Uh, Murphy. Uh, yeah, Martin or Eddie? Eddie, I guess. Because I, oh. I feel like he's been in the game a little bit longer. And um, he just, to me, is just... He's just a different breed. I like him. He's cool. He's cool. Okay. Nah. If this don't work, what's plan B? Um, have my own radio and television show. Actually, I'm going to keep it all the way real with you guys. I never set out to be a comedian. I always have wanted to be a uh, radio and television um, author. Um, similar to what Steve Harvey does, child psychology. I'm in school for that right now, Georgia, going to Georgia State since I just graduated from Clark, Atlanta. And then uh, be a minister, you know, <laughs> whatever. Like, that's that's it. It's, it's a plan. It's plan E's all the way to plan E. Oh, and I could be a basketball player. All right. Hold up now. Two things. And a rapper. <laughs> I want to be a rapper. Two things. We need one bar right now. Go. <laughs> all right. Kendra in all black. I stay strapped. What you know about that crit neck? Mixtape coming out soon. But listen, um, I'm going to need a ghostwriter. <laughs> I'm going to need a ghostwriter, okay? Are you coming out with the book then? Uh, what do women want? Because Steve Harvey sold us out with the book and the movie situation. No, my book is going to be a lot more like that black uh, urban fiction type. I already right, so haven't written. It hasn't been published yet. One of those black sex books that all the chicks used to no, be No, 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 cause, cause, no. Because, uh, no, definitely. It's going to have sex in it, like, three pages but it's not gonna be like oh i hate though like i was in walmart once upon a time right and i was reading the book and i'm like bro why does every book have a man who's really big you gotta be realistic not every one of these not every man is packing like that so and also no pause no homo but i know for not every guy who's tall and skinny is hanging man i didn't came across one guy he was african too OK, came across one guy who it was like it was four inches on hard. Right. And I say, you know, what? that's probably why know. <laughs> that's probably that's probably why, you know, he smokes cigarettes. He lies. He steals. He has a bad attitude. God's getting him back on that. That's what happens, man. You can't do wrong and think it's not going to affect you where it hurts. The end. Maybe he had a good personality. <laughs> I just said that he lied. He stole. He had a bad attitude. Well, he was nice to me because he wanted something. <laughs> He didn't even show up to my birthday party. And it's not because he was 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 um of the Islamic faith because I done had a couple of, of Islamic, you know, uh compadres who told me happy birthday. Okay, they told me when their birthday was. All right, they came to my birthday. So what is that supposed to mean? All right, nothing. He's sorry. That's all I say maybe, about that. Maybe he just had respect for your situation. What <laughs> the situation was that? Next question. Next question. <laughs> Freak Nick or big homie tank weekend. What is Big Homie Sank Weekend? The big joint in Miami every weekend. Oh, um, let me go with Freak Nick because that was a time to be have been alive, man. 
What a time. <laughs> I would have been uncle, part of Uncle Lou. And I talked about it. I did stand up for the first time for real, for real last night. And I said, man, what a time to have been alive. Because I was born there in that last good year of Freak Nick, right? And I wish I could have, like, 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 been on top of the cars, learn how to throw it back or whatever. You know, Hold up. Going- so what you're saying is your mom was down at the last Freak Nick and then you came a couple months later? Is that what that sounds no, like? No, my mother, my parents are close to like 50 when they have the AARPH. So they. I don't mean they could have been at Freak Nick. They might not been on top of the cars they could have just been you know on the side of the road beeping the horn and you know <laughs> and it, <laughs> you said I, think, I was born the last good year of it <laughs> but, but but with that being i just i honestly think that it really that was a time like between going being born between 1969 and 1982 that was a time to have been alive because y'all like did not have i make it seem like you was born you probably were born during the era i don't know you look like you was born in 1999 but anyway back to the story 87 Okay. Okay. So yeah, you weren't born. Okay. So, so with when that, you get those cleaning jobs to do buy 600,000 a shot, you get the good creams and all of that. And you keep yourself good. So, so it just, it was like people, you actually got into a real fight, a street fight. People handle it. Like if you fight, you fight, handle it through the streets and you go to, to the uh, store at a Walmart, steal something out of the store together. You know, you actually like uh sung a girl out her draws. Like it was like, come on now. Like that's what, that, that to me is beautiful. Guys don't work for it because women don't make these guys work for it. No more that's cool i had to play some tyrese to get the draws off time or two on my day um <laughs> this is like i said because i come prepared and i listen to the shit that you did beforehand so we don't do the same show over and over again who keeps it more real a kid leggings or a drunk man you didn't know that was coming back on you did you? um a child <laughs> a child is always gonna keep it more keep it real i, I love children i go to them for advice who's number two the drunk man or the leggings the leggings the drunk man be on a <laughs> rampage man i don't know like he, he's number three who is your best friend today oh i don't oh lance you you gotta... this was another thing you said i got a different best friend in my mind every day oh I thought you... to uh i'm gonna just go with plies man ply is it's, it's two people really it's plies baby yeah plies <laughs> and t-pain are my best friends in my head and I think that is it. I got to find some women who could be like my best friends, but I, but I, I don't know. I, you know, plies and, and T-Pain. <laughs> so you banging shorty all day. Copy. I got you. Now you said also in another interview that you don't really have a lot of women friends. What's the number one reason you don't have a lot of women friends? Because women are full of drama. A lot of them are catty. They're jealous. And on top of that, they be touching on me. And I'd be like thinking it means that they ready to do some. And they're not. I don't like those type of women. I don't know how y'all deal with that. Um, anyway. Um, and There's nothing, wrong with, there's nothing they, wrong with an aggressive woman. <laughs> they like to sit here. I know this is the difference between men and women. If y'all are going through something, you'll talk about it for men probably a few days get it off your chest women will will vent about the same thing for months on end and still deal Years. with that same situation i don't Years, i don't and months. if i tell them the truth <laughs> oh you're hating that's why you ain't never been with nobody that it, sis you've been talking about the same he gave you syphilis and chlamydia t- together okay so and he he left you for miss barbara down the street because she knows how to make better cookies than your mama come on now you ever had a warm cookie though and got a swirly it's amazing uh uh-uh. um so, warm cooking and twirly. Yeah. I'm was that a sexual qu- I don't know what that what that is. You gotta like I, I feel like I feel like it goes down in y'all's bedroom, man. Do you actually like like record and then like almost post it online? Nah, you know what I'm saying? This ain't even in my crib. This is at mom's shout out uh Oh baby. shoot. I thought it was like a talk, like you know, a certain move, y'all. All right, no, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two things that two things that the man you are with has to have. He has to have money and he has to have a, a real faith in God. One thing he has to accept when he's uh gets you. Oh, this is gonna be kind of kind of hard, but and I don't know if I'm still accepting it, That's but what right he said, now huh? that <laughs> uh he has to accept my abstinence from sexual temptation until i fully say okay this is it and i don't know when that might be like when i'm like okay he can now have part of the draws 
part of the draws doesn't mean all of the draws. No, so, we had we had second base. We ain't hit a home run yet. Okay, so in this same scenario, uh -huh. are you then upset that he's down the street at Miss Pam's, like you said, <laughs> getting a, a warm cookie and a fresh biscuit? Um, no, I'm not upset. But that's why you have that's why you have to have these conversations prior to deciding to say I want to be in a relationship with you. Don't go in there haphazard. Haphazardly. I mean, copy. Everybody has their own relationship standards and their criteria. And if the person does not meet those, then you should agree. pay attention to this red flag and run the fuck away from them mm -hmm. as fast as possible. All right. Um, that was the end of the rapid fire se section of the show. Like I said, I knew that you was gonna be good for that one because I listened to a bunch of your interviews and shit. <laughs> um, switched it completely up for episode 38. Always evolving over here at the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is how you hustle. Um, now we're gonna dive into you. Go what ahead. do you have? What do you have going on now? We got any shows coming up? We got anything we're working on that we can announce? What do we have going on in the on the comedy side of things? Uh, nothing at all. Did, like I said, I did my first comedy special yesterday, and I'm probably gonna do some again a month from now. You know, because that's when I see my schedules open. Because I do a lot of podcasts, so y'all gonna check, listen to this remind, remember this voice, because I'm gonna be back on somebody like. Hey, how'd you end up making on Joe Rogan? I don't know. I showed my areola. He liked it. Uh, so that that's it. it just so I don't the draws have are still on, but the nipples are out. I'm trying no, no, to make the sure the nipples we... are out. It's just a part of the areola. Okay, it's, it's a just a part of, of the nipple. Okay, copy. Just the side. Just the side. Both the side top. Moves. It's okay. the very top of it. Oh, excuse me. I'm just trying to make sure we consistent for the audience. You know, the niggas sliding <laughs> in your DMs with a whole dick shot. We want to make sure that they know. Hey, if she gets on Joe Rogan, it was just top nipple, and that was all that happened. Go ahead, though. You were saying that, well, that was it. Like I said, just I'm um, just going to uh, continue to be great, man. Continue not to pin slap folks, even though they deserve it. <laughs> That's it. I'm, you should go more of a more of a palm instead of a backhand because the backhand can fuck up your knuckle. The palm, really? You know, just, yes. OK, so you said so do like like this. And how, yes, how do I you come? You come here with a palm, open palm. You know okay. what I'm saying that way you don't break one of your knuckles fucking somebody up on the back end. OK. Let me, let me um, find out. You are, so while you out here doing cleaning businesses and you a chef and, and massage therapist and all that other stuff, do you like like? I've been known, I, to, hit the little, I've been known to have a little baby oil in the crib. So how how <laughs> how did you like the first time that you remember? Like everybody loses a fight, especially if you've been in a lot of fights. How did you I've know been, when you actually? I've been this. I've been this size since you had the underarm hair and the big ass. <laughs> I've been this exact so size. So you never had nobody beat you up. No, nah, I ain't been out here losing no fights now. You might have got been, stole. Have you I been in a lot of fights now. though? I'm about to say now, I got stole on the oh, you didn't expect that type joint. Yeah, then that didn't happen, but it's a full fledged fight now. Nah, I mean, I ain't never been that guy. Oh, I've man. been this size since like, since Biggie was alive, I was this size. So you what are you about six five, two eighty? Six foot uh too much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to lose weight or are you good with your uh weight? I want to do a lot of things, but you know. <laughs> Why don't you do Ty Bo? After we did finish this interview, go to Ty Bo. Get your workout on. Yeah, copy that. I was going to do some stretches and crunches, but I'll switch That's it not up good enough. Bo. So don't make sure you don't go eat um, a Subway sandwich after this. You got to still eat healthy. Go. Did you drink any water? Did you have breakfast this morning? Because SpongeBob said that's the most important meal of the day. I'm actually sorry. I left my water downstairs. And, you know, Subway don't give you enough meat for me to even want to go in there just to get that big ass piece of bread. <laughs> 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 but uh i know you also got the podcast too throw out the name of the and podcast. i was gonna say you are more than welcome to come anytime you uh are able to you know have i guess fit me in your schedule but my podcast is called the kendra crump show so the is in the k-y-n-d-r-a-c-r-u-m-p show not with no money sign not no fake ass asap rocky s-h-o-w uh my youtube is kendra crump uh, K Y N D R A C R U M P. And you can find my Instagram as well. But the Kendra Crump Show podcast, just type in Kendra Crump on google.com and then you guys gonna find me. All right. Uh, Kendra, I appreciate you coming on episode 38. Like I said, I had to squeeze this one in, but we are good right now. This was a great episode and I will definitely be sliding in your DMs and we will make that situation happen for me to come. Yeah, to any Friday party. nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, man. I, and I connect you with other podcasters as well. Y'all can all jump on each other's show and y'all can go to, uh, sip some tea and stuff like that. Go, go to. Oh, no. Nah. We about to talk because I got folks down there in Atlanta. I got T -T situations. And crumpets. That I can 
I got situations I can tie you in, and we about to talk about all of that, but we're going to do that off mic. Hey, y'all, appreciate y'all for hitting the button. Thank you for downloading episode 38 of the podcast. We are out.